Denton DV502A, the thermal evaporator, is set up with two filaments, uh, thermal evaporators. Uh, the system can be operated uh, using the switches here for the vacuum cycling. And you can select either right filament or left filament and turn it on. So that's the right filament. Now the system was uh, pumped down to mid six range using the mechanical pump and diffusion pump. And it is ready for thermal evaporation. Right now, I'm just turning on the filaments without material in them, just for demonstration purpose. There's a sample rotation arrangement here. The speed can be adjusted. And the sample needs to be mounted in the sample holder. The angle of the sample holder can be adjusted using the screw on the shaft. This is a thermocouple gauge uh, which using which we can measure the chamber vacuum level during roughing and the four line vacuum level while um, the diffusion pump is on and the packing valve is open. So there is a, a cold cathode sensor in the system and by using the set knob here the zero level can be adjusted. Usually when it is in on you adjust the zero And then once it is adjusted, you can toggle it to 10 to the minus 4 tor range to 10 to the minus 7 tor range. At any point of time, if the chamber vacuum goes into 10 to the minus 3 range, the sensor will be turned off automatically. Now I'm going to cycle the system, the venting of, of the chamber. I want to demonstrate. So it takes a couple of minutes for the chamber to vent so that the full cathode gate turns off itself as soon as the vent valve is open. After venting the chamber, the bell door should be slided up like that and rotated. The is held here, so I'm going to load a small piece of aluminum in the thermal evaporator. By raising this uh, screw up, we can adjust the angle or the tilt of the sample holder here. We're loading the sample and material to be deposited. We have to start the pumping cycle by rotating the knob to auto pump. Right now the roughing valve is open and the backing valve is off or closed and the chamber started to pump down. So it's a tungsten filament evaporator I'm testing with. Various sizes and shapes of tungsten bolts are available. So care should be taken in order to match the specifications of the system given in the user's manual details. And while increasing the current, the current adjust knob should be turned on and raised very slowly. So after the chamber roughing, the system opened 
the packing valve and high vacuum valve and the now chamber is getting into high vacuum. Once the high vacuum valve is open and we see the chamber uh, a roughing vacuum gauge is below zero, it's time to turn on the full cathode sensor. Uh, usually a system requires about uh, 10 to 20 minutes when the system is continuously operational but when first time it was turned on the diffusion pump should be allowed to uh, warm up for about an hour or so and the diffusion pump requires 70 degrees Fahrenheit uh, water circulation and there is a funnel on the left hand side of the system where liquid nitrogen can be poured the liquid nitrogen is to be poured here only when the high vacuum valve is open and we are already into mid 10 to the minus 6 range vacuum level. Uh, every time the chamber is open and pumped down uh, to reach into 10 to the minus 6 range, it will take about 10 to 15 minutes. I'm going to start the evaporation process just for demonstration. It's recommended to use a protective glasses when the thermal evaporator filaments are turned on.